sports is a big part of my life. My name's Tom, and this is my crew. Welcome to Fun to Skate. Five, two, three. <laughs> In every video, you'll be given one goal, three moves, five key points, so you can skate easier, faster, and better. Get up and roll! Get up and roll is the most fundamental phase in your inline skating journey. It's the very beginning. Make sure you get this right and you'll be skating in no time. Come on, give it a go. The first move includes sitting down, placing your hands on the floor, and bringing yourself up to the tiger position. For the second move, open your knees up as wide as possible. Place your hands in the middle, bring your right foot up, left foot up, and slowly stand up while your hands facing forward. Rocking the center of your hips left and right over your heels will help in move three. Here, lift your shoes up just a little bit. Then, take three steps forward and stop with your shoes facing forward. Remember, three steps and stop while your shoes facing forward. The foundation of learning how to inline skate lies in feedback. Now, the best feedback you can get is by asking your friend to take a picture of you doing the three moves and then once you're on your skates take videos while you're showing the five keys that way you'll be able to learn how to end my skate easier faster better time to put some skates on and once you have them on try the three moves on a high friction surface like grass or carpet but make sure you ask for permission before you use mom's expensive rug. Here are the five important key points to make sure your get up and roll really works. First, make sure that you open your knees as wide as possible. This allows you to sit into a very sturdy and stable position. This position really helps when you're trying to stand up. Now, for key point number two, glue the ends of your heels together to get a strong V stance. This way, you won't move. Key point number three is to keep your shoulders, hips, and heels in one line. Distributing your weight evenly is essential to maintaining balance. The fourth key point is to place the center of your hip above your right heel when you're rocking right and then to place it above your left heel when you're rocking left. This ensures that you'll be able to lift your boots with ease. And then stepping forward becomes so much easier. The fifth key point is to stop stepping, face your feet forward and start rolling. Now this is where the fun really starts. Repeat the process of stepping and rolling until you become fluent. A lot of skates will call this a stride one. Congrats, you're skating! If you ever get tired and want to stop, let your hands guide you to the ground. Or if all hell breaks loose, let the pads break the fall. A lot of first-time skaters think that asking your friend to help you get up is the way to go. Or using something static to help you get up is much easier. But we've proven that the best way to go is by yourself. This way, you will become a confident skater with every try. And remember, learning how to inline skate is not a race. It's about becoming confident on your skates and enjoying the get up and roll. Now go have some fun. The get up and roll is designed so everybody can skate. 
And to prove this point, I've invited a very good friend of mine. Introducing Arif. So, Arif is a big guy, and so is his heart. And he shows it through his skating. He makes get up and roll look really easy. And in my playbook, if he can do it, so can a lot of us. So, what are you waiting for? Come on, let's go get up and roll. <laughs>